Good morning, I'm Dennis Miracle, and uh, I'm going to be showing you today a purse called, uh, uh, <laughs> what is it called? Uh, maple Leaf Purse, and uh, the Maple Leaf Purse has a matching uh, a back panel, and when you have a back panel on one of these uh, purses, you need to do that first. So it's very simple. It's only three steps. I'm not even going to uh, sew the steps myself. Uh, but all you do is you, these are, I'm making a, a um, six by 10 purse, cut all of your fabric seven by 11. And uh, you would take and uh, hoop your stabilizer, whatever kind you choose to use. And you would then take and put it in the machine and run step one, and that will simply run a uh, a line, uh, an exterior line all around the entire hoop uh, in the 10 by six hoop. That's number one. Number two, you would take first your, whatever you're using for batting, and I'm using this odd material here for batting, and you would make sure you were covering the lines made by step one and then you would take whatever you're covering you're going to use as the actual piece of back fabric and place that over the batting and uh, then you take this to to the machine and run step number two and that will simply sew that exact same <coughs> excuse me lines down on all four sides so it'll be held nice and taut in the hoop and the third and last thing you uh, step simply does the quilting and then you just take that out of the hoop and set it aside uh, and uh, actually I take it out and I don't trim it uh, a quarter inch like I do the the uh, main part of the bag but I trim it oh, probably an inch or so around each side I like to have a little more there to be able to match up with the uh, with the front part of the bag when it gets that time to do to do that. So anyhow, that's all I wanted to say about the uh, back panel. So simple, doesn't even need a video. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can always call me or uh, you can text me or send me a, a request or, or on a Messenger. Um, and if you wanted to call me, you certainly could. I'd give you my number because I want you to be able to make these beautiful bags and I want to help you in whatever way I can. So anyhow, uh, that's it. I'm tired out and that's all I was going to do today is just to give you that little bit of information and I'll be back tomorrow and we'll do the main bag itself. Thank you so much. Good night. Alrighty, good afternoon, my friends. This is Dennis Miracle. I'm resuming the making of what I'm calling the Maple Leaf Purse. And uh, as you can see, I have done the first step, which is the outline of the purse, uh, the placement location for the zipper. First thing you need to do is grab your zipper, well, the one you've got in your hand, and uh, see if it actually works. Sometimes they're defective, so this one works fine. And if you have a number three zipper, uh, nylon zipper, the way I've made this, it should exactly uh, sit right between these lines, uh, the top line and this fourth line, if you count it one, two, three, and four. And this area here is where the actual z uh, zipper, the center of the zipper should be, uh, the, the nylon part should be centered. So let's go ahead and tape this down and it just actually fits perfectly. I'm proud of myself. I don't usually uh, get that close to doing that, but it does. So let's tape it down. Let's put one in the center, right at the edge. And uh, let's put, straighten this up and put one here at the bottom. And uh, I 
I've got a new stand that's holding this uh, iPad, actually, or not iPad, but uh, Samsung tab, and I'm testing it for today. I had a different one yesterday. This is a much bigger one, and I'm hoping this will be better. Please give me your feedback, either negative or positive, on this video as far as the uh, placement of the of this, how this is holding this uh, device to record. So, anyhow, let me turn off uh, the uh, tablet and go and tack this down on the machine, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, as you can see, hopefully I'm uh, back. You can see the the uh, stitching of the uh, placement stitches here on the zipper. And uh, so now we're ready to go to the next step, which will be uh, putting the putting the um, lining on the back and putting the front uh, piece of fabric on along with the batting. So let me uh, grab that. I've put it out of range here, but let me go get that and I'll be right back. Alrighty. Uh, let me put on, let me turn the hoop over now and let's take, and we will take, this is, this is the lining fabric when I'm using and turn it to the back side and place it right edge to edge. Make sure you're okay on both sides, but you can place this right at the edge, the fabric to the this lowest line, lowest line here, and let's tape it down. Let's just roll this over to the front of the hoop and I'm going to take it in. We won't need it for quite a while, so let's just tape it down here on the edge of the hoop so it stays out of the way. It looks, it'll be fine there, I'm sure. Now let me grab my main uh, uh, fabric, uh, which I'm using this. This is going to be my fabric. Uh, this beautiful green and I've got two pieces of it because I'm going to be putting it over this odd looking uh, what I'm using as batting basically and I don't want it to show through I don't want the batting to show through because all of these seem so cheap these pieces of uh, cotton so take your, this piece of cotton you've got one piece or two or whatever and place it right against the line here, the edge of the zipper, and make sure, okay, that looks fine, everything's fine on the sides, and we will take this over to the embroidery machine and tack, uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna run a line of stitches right here and tack that down, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back, and the first thing I do always is to check and make sure that it did stitch along the back side here, which it did just perfectly, and then turn it back over to the front, and we see it's done the same thing here. So what I want to do now is take, uh, I think I told you earlier that I cut all my fabric 7 by 11, well, except for one. This piece, one of the pieces of, one of the two pieces of batting needs to be cut 6 by 11, so it will fit right about a quarter inch under this a stitch line here and won't hang over so far down here. So take your fabric, your main fabric now, I've got two pieces of it and and uh, take it and <laughs> I feel like a cat doing this to it, but take it and take it to the iron now that you have it taut uh, where uh, it's, it's nice, there aren't any wrinkles, take it to the iron and give it a little quick pressing right along through here so it will have a nice crease and then I'm going to take it back to the embroidery machine and it's going to stitch right under here all down the side all along the bottom up the other side and and then I stop right here so all four sides will be uh, stitched down so let me do that and I'll be back in a moment all right that sewing is done you see it did so on all four sides and so what I'm going to do now is, uh, I just wanted to show you that, because now we're going to start, uh, there are two maple leaves on here, or will be, when it's done, and uh, 
their applique, and we're going to start the first one right now. So let me go uh, do the uh, the placement stitch for the first uh, maple leaf. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and you see that it has uh, uh, done the placement stitch for the first uh, maple leaf, and I'm going to take, I'm going to use this particular uh, vinyl, and I'm going to take and put it Make sure I'm covering, well, that's really close on that side. That's okay, though. It'll, make sure you have some overlap up at the top. Uh, well, just to cover, big enough to cover this, actually. And, and But on this side, you need to, no, you don't either. Well, just make sure you have enough, uh, make sure you have enough uh, vinyl or whatever you're using to cover this. I was thinking it was going over there, but it's not. So anyhow, just make sure it's big enough to cover this one particular thing. And I'm going to take and have this sewn down, and then I'm going to go and trim it. And after that, I'll be right back. And then the, the uh, satin stitches should be done then. All right, you can see here the uh, tack down. And so now I will, I just wanted to show you that. Now I'll go and take and trim this, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's trimmed. All right, you can see now I have cut the uh, around the applique piece, and now I'm going to take it to the embroidery machine, and it should do the uh, Latin, uh, Latin stitches, <laughs> the satin stitches. <laughs> okay, uh, you'd think I've been drinking, but I really haven't. But anyhow, I'm going to uh, go over and take care of that, and I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Uh, now you can see the beautiful applique. I think it looks really pretty, actually, uh, better than I thought. Uh, so now I'm going to take, and the next the next thing that will happen on the embroidery machine is there's another uh, leaf over here, which is slightly bigger than this first leaf. So I'm going to go and run the uh, the placement stitch for it, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, now you can see the second applique has been outlined. That's the placement stitch, and then uh, I'll take what's left of this. This was just a piece of uh, this vinyl cut 7 by 11, so I've gotten both pieces out of, or will, out of this one piece of vinyl. So just take and cover it up like that, and I'll take it back to the embroidery machine, and it'll do the uh, tack down, and I'll show you what it looks like when I am finished. So hold on. All right, now you can see this has been tacked down, and I'm going to do the same procedure and uh, trim around the edges, and then the next step will be the satin stitch for this particular leaf. And you can see I'm going to have quite a bit to cut off here, which is always keep this these little cut-off pieces because I use them for my uh, connectors for my uh, crossbody straps, so I always keep these little remnants, I'll call them. Anyhow, uh, let me go and do the cutting, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Alrighty, I'm back, and you can see that I've trimmed this leaf, and we'll run this satin stitch on it. So, I'll be back in a moment. Alright, I have finished the second one, the uh, second maple leaf, and actually it's growing on me. I'm kind of liking it. Now I'm going to do the quilting and see how that will look. It's going to quilt all around here. So let's, or let me wait and see. Hopefully it will look nice. And uh, anyhow, I'll be back in a few moments, a few minutes. All right, now you can see that the uh, uh, background fill has been done, which is uh, maple leaves themselves. Unfortunately, since it's such a small area, it doesn't come out as well as I would like. But that's nothing I can do about that, since it is a size of 6 by 10. Um, okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove the tape here and let this lining piece fall back to the back, and we're going to remove these pieces of tape off the sides also. Pull it down where it's taut, and There we are. All right, I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine, and it's going to repeat the step that uh, this step here, I think it was four, where it goes all the way around, and it's just, for this purpose, it's just uh, 
uh, stitching down the back uh, piece of lining. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, I'm back uh, with this last step and make sure, yes, it's beautiful. It's, it's completely secured on the back. Now I'm going to take off this tape here on this side. It's no longer needed. I'm going to open the zipper about three quarters of the way. And I'm going to take uh, my little pieces I've made. If I can find them, there they are. Uh, I use, in this case, grow grain ribbon, and it is whatever the width of ribbon is. I'm not sure, probably a half inch or five-eighths of an inch, and uh, put a ring in between. And then uh, I took, uh, I always take and staple them. You can't even see the staple. It's in this particular one, but I staple them to hold them together. So I always put up uh, my uh, connectors about an inch in from the each of the side seams and so I've that looks I'm just gonna eyeball it that looks okay to me let me put a piece of tape up here and definitely put a tape piece of tape down here on the metal piece so it doesn't uh, get loose and then let's do the same thing to this side alrighty one more okay that looks fine let me see, this is the uh, zipper's open, that's very important, so I uh, see I've got that done. Let me grab, um, okay, this is where I screwed up, folks. I was going to use this beautiful uh, material here instead of that green, but somehow I got confused and stuck that green down. Um, let me see if this one's less, well darn, I, I did, uh, I did actually iron them but they've got wrinkled again but um, anyhow take and put your main fabric for the back side put it face down make sure you cover basically what's existing and make sure you cover the zipper by at least a quarter of an inch and then stick down your other piece of uh, batting on top of that and uh, smooth it down and now let's take it to the uh, uh, embroidery machine and it will tack it down here at the top of the zipper the sides the bottom and the other side and end up back up here or maybe it starts down here I can't remember but anyhow it's going to do all four sides and so let me go and run that and I'll be back in a moment all right you can see that that has been accomplished it's uh, all held down all closed up basically on all sides and then we're going to do the last step, which is to turn the hoop over, and we're going to put the other piece of lining fabric face down on top of the lining fabric that's already there. Just cover what's already there up, and make sure you go at least a quarter inch above the zipper here, so we're more than a quarter inch, and take it and tape it down on all four sides. And this is the last step of sewing. Alrighty, now let me take this to the sewing machine and we'll finish this up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, now the purpose of this last uh, stitching down here was to leave a, to uh, attach this obviously on three sides, this last piece of lining, and to leave a place to put your hand to turn the bag out. So that's what we're ready to do. Let's take it out of the hoop. I'm going to take and cut from this side. I'm going to start right here where the stitching starts, right going up this direction a quarter inch away from the seam uh, stitch line, all the way across the top, right down the side, and I'm going to end right here at, at where the sit stitching stops. And when I do that, don't touch, don't bother anything down here on the bottom yet. When I'm finished with that, I'll show you in just a moment what to do next. Alrighty, I have done as I said. I have uh, trimmed all around about a quarter of an inch from the uh, stitch line. Now we're left now with these uh, pieces of lining. So you've got your 
first shorter piece, always a shorter piece, and then the longer piece. But what you need to do now is you need to, here, let me show you. you. You see the stitch line right here. So you need to pull this back, make sure these are not cut off, these two pieces. But the rest of this is junk. So you can take your uh, cutter, your straight cutting device, your uh, scissors, whatever you you want and to take and chop this off about an eighth of an inch away from this fabric here, this blue fabric. So do that and I'll show you what happens in a moment. All right, I did take care of that and I've uh, chopped those pieces off. Now what I'm gonna do is turn the uh, bag through the opening here. So glad I've got this holding device now. I can actually work with both hands. Uh, so, alrighty. Alrighty, and I always take it to the iron and I fold this shorter piece in and I'll just hand uh, press it for the moment. And then I'll take this longer piece and fold it in and uh, Make sure it's nice and uh, won't move, won't get out of there. Because next, I think I'm just going to go on over to the uh, sewing machine. I've kind of given this a finger pressing. It should hold. And anyhow, I'm going to go and do that. And I'm going to sew from where the stitching, uh, this, I'm going to sew this gap closed where there's no stitching. So from this area here to this area here. So let me go and do that and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, now you can see that uh, I have sewn the bottom closed here. And what I'm gonna do next is take and, uh, let's see if I can get this started here with just my, yes, it's coming off. Okay. All right, now just take your finger and fingernail if you can and just pull it down. And it should come right, right off. All right, I got a little trimming to do here. Let's see. Uh, well, I'll do it after I'm off camera. I won't waste your time doing that. But uh, oh, there's a little piece right here. My clippies. Okay, ow. All righty. Uh, now, well, let me get that one. I got it. Oh. oh, okay. Let me go ahead and take care of this. Now, this is this is where this was the uh, the stitches that were the uh, not the tack down, but showing uh, the placement stitches. Sometimes this piece comes up. Other times it'll stay forever and won't move. And if you want to, you can remove this little bit of uh, strip of paper towel, but it usually stays there. Anyhow, now we're ready to for the unveiling. We turn, reach in and turn, uh, open the zipper as much as you can get it. There you are. And turn it out. And grab this piece, these pieces of tape that we tape these uh, pieces of metal down with. Here's the other one, these rings with. All right. Um, okay. See, this is what I meant to put on the front in, uh, in the place of the green, but somehow got confused, which lately happens a lot. So, that's that though. Um, so, let me turn this in like that. that okay. Now, get this. Uh, and I can see that has come out just a little bit, which it rarely ever does. Okay, I'm going to take, let me close this up. I'm going to take and uh, put a, a couple pieces of uh, cotton fabric over this, take it to the iron, and give it a real quick 
uh, back and forth a couple times, never letting it linger since we've got this vinyl, which will melt and turn to trash, to junk in just about a nanosecond. So be very careful with that. I'm going to press the back quickly and it will be done. And I'll come and show you that in just a moment. Alrighty, I actually uh, think this looks very nice. Perhaps I could have used some more attractive uh, colors on the front, but uh, it is what it is, and it uh, turned out uh, perfect as far as I can see from a structural standpoint. And uh, this beautiful fabric here, I will be making probably tomorrow another one with this fabric, since that's what I meant to do in the begin in the first place. And uh, so. I hope you've enjoyed watching me with my new contraption here that's holding my uh, camera, which is actually a tablet, because the phone was uh, too small to fit. This, this device is too large to hold a phone. It will hold a tablet fine. So uh, I'm going to uh, hope you've enjoyed watching, and I hope if you get the design, you'll make something pretty for yourself or a loved one. And I just appreciate you watching and I appreciate you buying these patterns and supporting me, uh, supporting my efforts. Uh, I can't tell you how much I do appreciate that. So thank you so much and hoping you're having a great Sunday evening. And I'll see you tomorrow or the next day with another tutorial and video. Good night.